You know, you, you deserve credit because in your note of May 24th, you actually said to your clients, and I'm going to quote you, we do not recommend buying shares of AMC here as we think its share price no longer reflects its fundamentals elevated by retail investors whose time horizons for holding are unclear. I mean, that's almost two weeks ago. And yet yes. we've seen a surge in that two week period. Is there, it, it's almost as I want to say there's some nefarious entity that's pushing these perhaps less skilled retail investors to take on risk that they're just not prepared for what could be a very big loss. Well, I think if you if you look at the Reddit boards, um, they're encouraging each other. You know, they think it's a really good investment, and um, by all means, at the moment, it is. Um, they've doubled, tripled, quadrupled, or more their their initial investments, and they want it to continue rising. They they believe in the company. The CEO is communicating with them directly in his um, press release today. He made it very clear that he cares about this investor base. And at last count, it was 80% of the investor base was retail investors. It's probably higher than that now. Um, so it, it's it's unclear how long this is going to last. And um, the fact that the CEO and the company is very engaged with these investors means that it could be a while. You know, it's interesting when you take a look at the announcement that was made connecting with investors, the new platform that they're going to have, some of the, uh, I guess, perks that go along with it. You could get free popcorn. You could get exclusive movie screenings. Is this something that you view that will in, that will register, I guess, with an investor? Because when you take a look, an investor is very different than someone who loves to go to the movies all the time. It, does, it doesn't always go hand in hand. Sure. I think that's true with uh, institutional investors, sure. But these retail investors, many of them are within that, um, that fanboy uh, fan base that, that go to these movies, especially, you know, your big IMAX or Dolby screen movies. And they see these, uh, you know, the Marvel films, all the films that play really well in theaters. This is the fan base. Um, and so these people are actually moviegoers. They, and that's why they believe in this company. It's because they're, they're ready to go back to the movies. Wouldn't, wouldn't AMC need their approval, the approval of shareholders, if it wanted to introduce even more stock into the market, I mean, and dilute what's already out there? Um, well, it, it seems as though a lot of these retail investors are willing to buy more. They're encouraging more people to, to buy more shares. So I think they would be willing for it to be diluted a bit further, not um, tremendously, sure. Um, but, you know, I, I do think that they're willing to, um, to dilute the shares a little bit more to give AMC the money that they need to perhaps grow.